PFNN. Headline News Update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We have the uh, Dow Industrials down 65. You get the Nasdaq off uh, 84. S&Ps are off 12 and a half. Now, the bulls and bears are going to have a battle coming into the close out here. So uh, Trump just announced uh, on a tweet, uh, literally uh, two minutes ago, that there will be that announcement after the close uh, of uh, exactly is it going to be 10 percent? What is it going to be uh, on China? So you can expect lots of action here coming into the close. As soon as that uh, tweet uh, did go out, we just uh, the S&Ps uh, just went from the 2902. Uh, down to the 2898. Uh, they're gonna be, it's going to be a battle uh, right at this uh, 2900 area. Uh, what I expect we're actually going to see is that uh, coming into this close, you're going to be uh, down somewhere into this uh, 2888. Uh, area, which would be 10 points lower. So right now, Dow Industrials down 60, Nasdaq's uh, off uh, 83. Uh, gold contract, gold contract up $4.50, trading at 12.05. We have silver up six cents, $14.21. Light sweet crude gave it up on price. That's down 21 cents. It had been up uh, 65 earlier. Yeah, you're at 68.78. Barrel of oil, notes and bonds, a 10 year note. Down one, 119.04, 30 a bond off four, 142.13. Now they both did reject a lower price, but the bottom line, they got to get out of this area. That area is the swing low from August, which is a major swing area. King dollar, King dollar breaks uh, down, down pretty good, down 4, 430 ticks, trading 94.075. That being said, what you do have with King dollar is you have, you have volume that's contracting in a very large way. Um, it looks like uh, it's not going to hold price. Uh, you only have 13,000 contracts, however, uh, coming down into these lows. If we do end up closing down here, King Doll is going to have to need a lot more volume in order to crack where it's trying to get into. It's trying to get into the trading day of June 14th. June 14th is where King Dollar had huge strength. We went from 92,500 to 93,995. Uh, if we go back into the S&Ps, what you can expect uh, is that you're going to get some big volatility um, in the next 60 minutes in these S&Ps as everyone's going to be speculating uh, just exactly how big are the TAFs. Uh, whether you're talking the 10 percent which was floated out here this morning or in fact uh, is it going to be higher than that bottom line is that uh, that announcement is going to come out as according to trump uh, right after the market closes stay right there folks coming back with the next 60 minutes of trading